Okay, so this is going to be my MS Paint tutorial that pretty much everyone's been wanting. So, first off, you just want to do your just go ahead and do your sketch. But for you want to make sure that the little that your picture is pretty small because if it's not, then you're going to be spending a whole lot of time with the spray paint tool, and you don't want that. You can get quite a bit of detail in when your picture's small, so it doesn't matter. Um, you guys are going to be hearing a lot of clicking, and some of you already know what this is, but for the new ones, I use a mouse. I can't use a tablet to save my life, so I use a mouse. Um, on to outline. Make sure your sketch is a completely different color than what you're lining it in. Before any of you even go there, I don't like to use Control Z because I'm just not used to it, so I don't. I don't. That's a horrible hand, but, oh well. Um, first things first, um, to make the eraser, oh, it's already there. <laughs> to make the eraser bigger, you use control and the plus sign. So, control, plus sign. Okay. And, ta-da, it's bigger. <laughs> and... You know, you don't want to leave just that pink there because that's gross and you don't want to go through it the whole time. Just getting bigger or smaller, trying to erase the pink little by little because that's just strenuous and it doesn't have to be done. Neither does this thing, the whole, yeah, sure, it gets it done, but it's really slow. So... When you get the eraser this big, make sure whatever color your sketch is, the pink in my case, make sure it's your main color and then right click with the mouse or, yeah, <laughs> and then go over it. And, it should, and it'll erase just whatever color it is, in my case, the pink. And then I look dirty. And, okay, I'm just going to do the sweater because I like this color. It's my favorite color, you know. 
All right. So first off, just go ahead. You can with the whole thing. Just go ahead and put in all of your base colors. All of them. Then go up to edit, select all, and then you should get this little blue and white line. Then go back up to edit and hit copy. Okay, then after that, just color it like you normally would in MS Paint, you know, the whole this jank. And then use your spray paint tool and do this. Okay, the base color that you used, right click on it to make sure it's your secondary color. I meant to tell you guys that, oops. But yeah, you need to make sure that the base color is your secondary color. And then of course do the shading and then when I do the this little tool after I go over it once I like to right click and go back over it so it doesn't look as blocky I don't know you can do whatever you want <laughs> it's just what I do. and I usually go in with a darker color too Okay, then you want to zoom pretty much all, not all the way up, but at least right here to where you can see most to all of the whole thing. So that way you don't have to, you know, drag it around all over the place. Okay, then go back up to edit and hit paste. And you probably noticed that it disappeared. On the left side of your screen, there should be this right here. Solid background or the or no background and you want to click on this one down here and there you go yay and remember you have to do all of these steps anytime you color anything like for the hair you have to left click select all copy and then Oops, wrong color. Paste. See? Um, I really hope this helped some of you. If you have any questions at all, please ask me. Uh, I don't bite. Um, if you do happen to make a picture, feel free to show it to me. I'd love to see it. Um, Alright, I love you guys. I hope this helped. Bye.